Today, I'm making a porter, so Fuller's London uh, Porter clone uh, from the Camarillo Ale recipe book. Um, I'm going to dive straight in and show you a little bit of prep work that I did last night just to get things set up. And then we'll go straight into brew day, so hopefully it goes well. I'll catch you later. I'm just doing a quick dry run ahead of brew day with the, uh, yeah, the steam condenser assembly unit. So, it is looking pretty good up there. However, there's still half a bit of a leak in the hose lock. Now, not much of an issue because it's over the sink, but I'm going to see if we can tighten this um, kind of fitting, this hose lock fitting up. Uh, I'm not overly impressed by it, I have to say. Um, but that's on full. Um, yeah, the tap's open full as recommended to me by the Bluetooth guys, so thanks guys for that. Um, yeah, it seems, yeah, it seems like it's working nicely and um, looking forward to using it tomorrow. Uh, kind of one thing to mention is I thought the kind of the weight of this hanging over might, you know, kind of definitely kind of require the clamps to be on, um, but due to the weight of the steam pipe itself, uh, even without the clamps, uh, you know, there's, there's no problem. So you, you know, I thought, uh, I thought I'd just check that out for the dry run as well. Uh, but yeah, all looks good. So brew day tomorrow. See you then. Blue tools is uh, yeah, come on, it's up to temp. So uh, right, let's, let's get, get mashed in. So first in is the pale malt. Give this a good stir. Most of the pale malt's in now, so let's get the rest of the stuff in. And you can see the hook is already proving itself to be quite handy. So let's pop that there. Okay, so some crystal. Some brown. Again, and give this another stir. In is going in the uh, yeah the chocolate malt and the remaining grains that didn't come nicely rounded up in uh, bags. So that's just been weighed out. So, and just for good measure, because I'm using a, a couple of bags of finer grain today, um, I'm going to put some rice hulls in. So just in case. Good mix, and then we'll leave that to rest for 20 minutes while the mash bed settles, grain bed settles. And we'll get recirculating. So, as always, we are recirculating around the malt pipe uh, whilst we're letting the grain bed settle. Uh, the pump is currently on 100%. So Jobs are good and so far. Eagle-eyed among you, you may have noticed that I forgot to put in the sparge pipe, but um, I've just popped that in down through the grain bed and it's slid in no problem, so we're, we're okay. Now the water's looking lovely and clear. 10 15 minutes to go for the rest of the mash, so uh, I'm going to mash out for a change because I always forget to do this. And today I've been a little bit more prepared, uh, so I'm going to do it. Okay, there we go. Massive. Well, he's up to temperature from yeah, 66 to 74 75 nearly in four minutes. So, you know, the 6000 watt power of the B80 Pro is uh, <laughs> definitely coming in handy there. The mash is finished, the sparge water is up to temperature, as you can see we're at 78, so 
Time to get the steam hat off and uh, time, yeah, time for the fun bit. Get the uh, lift the malt pipe up. So we'll get that done and uh, we'll start sparging. We've survived another. Really, really rapid or so. Uh, yeah, let's get the sparge on. Sparging. I've got the recurrent issue with the Bulldog Brewer tap. So you can see it's kind of leaking from the top here. Now this screw thread is as tight as it will go, so I'm just gonna have to take it apart and maybe replace the washer. Uh, I can't have this every single time, it's doing the editing. But um, you know, I've had worse leaks than that as you've probably seen in my previous video, so I'll take this for today. Uh, this, is, this is the worst that's happened so far. Touch wood, or chipboard or whatever it is. So, uh, We'll, uh, we'll carry on sparging and then uh, we'll, we'll be back. We are at hot break, 100 degrees Celsius. And first hop edition is 128 grams of fuggles. So in we go. Give that a little stir, make sure we don't boil over. And um, yeah, we'll get the steam hat on along with the steam condenser before the kitchen turns into a sauna. So all looking good so far. Been a good brew day. Hopefully I've not jinxed it. So uh, let's get ourselves sorted and get the rest of the kit together. Catch you in a bit. We are going great on so far, so as you can see, 100 degrees Celsius, steam hat is on, steam condenser is on, and piped up to the cold water from outside. So the cold water at the moment um, outside is around 10 degrees Celsius, so quite cold, probably a little bit under actually, probably about 8 or 9. Um, but uh, I just took a sample of the water coming out just to kind of get an idea of how well it's cooling. Yeah, they're obviously 100 degrees, uh, degrees steam and you can kind of see there it's cooling it down to 32 and a half degrees Celsius so it's doing a really efficient job. Um, you can probably see that I've still got that leak. Now it's not actually from the hose lock, it's uh, from the right to the top there. Um, I didn't get my span on it in the end, uh, I actually forgot but yeah, a, couple, a couple of drips here and there is not any, any issue when it's draining into the sink. So, um, yeah, all going great so far. Uh, steam condenser is doing a top job. Uh, no steam leaking out from the lid. I've got a couple of the clamps on loosely just to kind of keep it in situ. Um, but yeah, all good so far. So we've got a 90 minute boil. Uh, I'll be back in about you know, 75 minutes. We are 15 minutes away from the end of the boil. Uh, I'm going to get two proto flock in and then I'm going to start recirculating through the counterflow chiller. And in five minutes time, the last hop edition. So let's do this. Ooh. The second and last hop edition. 42 grams of fuggles. Okay, we are cooling, so that's rapidly reducing down in temperature. Whoops, we've got the hose lock onto the, uh, yeah, the counterflow chiller inlet. We've got a 12 uh, mil barb on the outlet now which is draining into the sink. So all going great so far. Hopefully nothing trips me up at the last. We are going to pitching temperature. That has literally taken about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes uh, to get from 100 to 20.6. So that kind of full chiller is super efficient. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna carry on uh, getting the rest of the water to the tank through this valve into there. And then we'll drain the trub and all the remaining uh, gunk into the uh, yeah the waste bucket. So let's get that done, and we're going to pitch a couple of packets of SO4. Mm. 
And that is that. Yeah, that's done. And that is the end of brew day. Right, time to get cleaning up, but I'm, I'll treat myself to a beer, I think. All gone well. There she goes. It's a good wash and good rinse. And then we're done. Oh, I know rinse. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That went really well. Um, that was one of, if not the best brew day I've ever had. Um, so at around kind of six hours, and that includes tidying everything up, everything is clean as a whistle, uh, to make two batches, so two 22, 23 litre batches in that time. This is exactly why I bought the Brew Tools B80 Pro. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm starting to get a little bit more familiar with the system. This is my third brew day. Uh, yeah, that it, it it just went so well. A couple of little hiccups along the way, so you you notice the um the sparging vessel was dripping a little bit. Um, the hose connecting to the steam condenser assembly unit was dripping a little bit. Nothing major. Uh, you know, I kind of took it in my stride today. You know, I, I put a couple of towels down for the sparging tank, and it was only kind of dripping. You know, a couple of couple of drops a second and. You know, it, it was fine. It really was. Um, what else? Yeah, I, I I messed up a couple of times with the valves. Turned the wrong valves because I wasn't paying attention. But um, you know that that again, that's you know going to come with practice. I'm still fairly new to the system. I was just not paying attention, and that's my own fault. But um, yeah, it, it it's just gone seamlessly today. The only little niggle that I kind of had uh, was I noticed at the end. When I'd kind of you know took out, uh, I'd left the uh, you know the, the the grain basket to kind of dry, uh, drain in, in another sink, and when I kind of picked that up to take it to you know the yeah I was recycling the grains in the um, our green bin that we have in Wigan, uh, you know for like food waste, I noticed one of the feet had actually come off, so the little rubber feet, uh, and it had split, so I. Yeah, kind of coincidentally, I know Bradley, uh, the portly gentleman, was. I think he did. A, he mentioned this a couple of videos ago, so the timing is quite, quite apt, really. Um, that yeah, they they've actually replaced these uh, rubber feet with a bit more kind of yeah, it's a lot thicker rubber, so maybe two or three times thicker, uh, so they stay on proper, you know, and they can take that weight because yeah, the 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 feet that they're resting on, it's like a stainless steel, uh, kind of foot like that wide and you know kind of maybe a millimeter or two thick so there's a lot of pressure on that thin bit of rubber so there's three kind of feet all together so one of them is split uh if i can think on i'll message brutals but yeah i mean it's not the end of the world it, it really isn't um by the way uh, you know if you're into the brutals equipment and are you thinking about getting one then definitely check out bradley uh, the portly gentleman on youtube uh, he's got some great videos out there uh, for how to use the system uh, and kind of reviews a few bits and pieces too. So, so definitely check him out. It's well worth a watch. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I say, it's, it's just gone really, really well. I'm, I'm, I'm really chuffed with, with how today's gone. So it's, yeah, like I say, it's a Fuller's London Porter. Um, my target gravity was 1053 for, uh, yeah, kind of 23 litre batch or two times 23 litres as I've done today uh, I got 1051 and I got like 44 litres in total so a little bit off the mark but not much so I'll, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that um, so anyway enough waffling that'll do for today um, I'm going to enjoy my beer cheers I'm going to sit down and have something to eat <laughs> so if you like the videos, I know some of you do, and you, you've kind of said so, so I appreciate the feedback on that. Um, 
then do give me a like, share, and a subscribe for more Brew Tools videos. Um, and hopefully in the future, um, especially when the, when we're in season, some uh, more wine making videos, uh, and hopefully again, uh, some spirit related um, infusion videos. So, cheers, take care. Hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye bye.